Here's two different varieties of snowdrops right next to each other. This is the traditional kind of lozenge shape snowdrop. And then over here, you can see from the top, it looks different. And you can see it's got it's the multiple um, trumpets on the inside. Ooh! You okay? Was that a bit rough housing? Was that a bit of rough housing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, look, all over the two snowdrops, I was just showing you the differences of. Anyway, you can see the lozenge one and its leaves, and then this one with its, it, it looks different from the top as well. If you look down on it, it looks like it has a pinafore dress on because of all these petticoats that are making it, flushing it out. So those are just two right next to each other. There's more varieties around the place and they're all just beginning to come up. So loads more da uh, daffodils, what are these things called? Snowdrops due to come and arrive. You can see some are still right in the soil and you can see these leaves are a different color. They're, and they're broader than these traditional ones. So those are some of the daffodil daffodils. God, my head, it's lambing. So here's another one with its beautiful trumpet and its pattern. This is, this is a, oh, sounds like Maya got her revenge. And this is a self-sown tr cherry tree that I'm allowing to grow uh, because these um, chestnut trees are maturing to their, um, they're going to be, they're quite old, so they're going to be falling at some stage. And this area here, it's beech and horse chestnut and the um, cherries, when the beech, when the, when this dies or falls, these cherry trees, you can see there's another one that Maya's got right next to her and there's another one right there so there's a whole series of cherry trees that i'm growing on here you can see there's another variant of the one that we have there's like the multiple layers ah, focus there we go you can see the difference when you look at them from the top you can see that those are going to be different. So that's how you that's how you sometimes tell different um, snowdrops. I wanted to show you three different kinds of the multiples and how you tell them apart. You can see this one. It's got the outside petals. I'm not very good at plant anatomy or blooms anatomy, but you can see the green little arch there. And then this is another one. It's got a bigger green arch, thicker in its, um, and then you can see the difference underneath. This is a bigger bloom than this one. And look at the green arch, green arch here. And then this is another variant, again, with its multiple blooms. Sorry, it's multiple petticoats, as I like to call it, or trumpets. But look at that. The green there is different again. And this, again, is an even bigger bloom. So if I take all three of these and put them next to each other, you can see the differences. This one, when you look down from the top, you can see its green arches are like hourglasses or almost a heart with wings. And then this one is like headphones, and then that one's like a little bridge. So you can see those are three different variants of snowdrops. And the more variety I always feel, the better you have for the survival of a species. And like a lot of these are bred hybrids. So um, here again are some more variants. 
of snowdrops that we have here. This one here, this is a single trumpet here. But look at the green, this has green on the outside, on the main petal, whereas this one doesn't. This is kind of your traditional lozenge-shaped snowdrop. But this one here, let's see, my hand is so big. Here you can see this is deep, and look at the ribbing on the petals. They're all very different, it's, and it has lots of green on um, the petals that makes it very distinctive. This is, oh, this is another of the multiple ones. So then you have ones that when they're um, outside petals, they flare out. Do you see how that one flares out? The petals flare out and it's got a different green around the trumpet. So there's another one, another variety, let's see. There you can see it has different green around the trumpet. So there you can see three varieties of the single trumpet. One, this one, this one, and then this one. And you can see their sizes are different as well. So they're different sizes of the blossoms. And oh, this is another of the petticoat ones. So these are just some of the varieties. I don't know their names, just don't ask me. But um, I love having as many varieties as possible. And they're so delightful in the um, spring to see all the different variations of snowdrops. So there you go, a little, little bit about snowdrops and um, their different varieties.